Welcome back everyone to our Team Rare 3 walkthrough. I was originally going to film myself running and jump across the platforms, but I gave me some trouble when I was filming on camera. So I decided to cut to the chase to where I'm making my way to the Switch and uh, making my way to the Oceanic Mask. You gotta be very careful here and to not catch yourself on fire. Hardest part is the timing. Made it. Here you gotta be careful and watch out for this lantern here. Fire lantern. That was close. This is a time door, so you gotta hurry up and get off this platform and to make way into the door here. Go to this door over here. So far that's three. I did the earth, I did the water, I did the fire. And so far, and the only one I have left is the air. And that's this one right over here, on the left. Now, a lot of you are probably wondering and asking yourselves, is this one hard compared to the, f the other ones I did? Only way to find out is by going over here. And for earth, water, fire, and air, this level is starting to remind me of the new Pixar movie, the film called Elemental. Because it is starting to remind me of all four of those characters. Four it's starting to remind me of. After you pick up the um, Uzi clips, the next question is, where do I go to from here? This is a very big maze, and it's very easy to get lost. Especially when you don't know where to go. So I head this way. And then turn left twice. Go to this lantern. Go over here. You gotta watch out for one of the dragonflies. The, the wasps. Let's get them. And here you basically gotta go to this block and you wanna push it to reveal a passageway behind it. Pick up the small health pack and flares. This is a dead end, so you gotta backtrack in the meantime. After you pick up those items, the next question is where to go to next. You wanna go back this way. You wanna go to the left. Run all the way to the end over here. Turn left. Go this way, pick up the shotgun ammo, then I head this way, go straight, go this way, then head this way. They will run down here to where you see the gate. Head this way. And they never know how much flares you're gonna need whenever they keep running out. Even though these crystals do kinda help, flares are usually a good thing. Head this way. Then you want to head over this way. And pick up a small health pack that's back here. Then you want to backtrack. Backtrack down this path. This time you want to go to the right, and run down here. Then you want to head this way. 
pick up the grenades that's over here. Then head this way. Now here you gotta be very careful when you go over here. You gotta watch out for these rolling wheels. Run to the very top. In fact, I recommend they save your game right here. In fact, I'm gonna do this right now. You wanna go to this one on the left first. They wanna jump to over here. Let's get rid of those wheels. There's more of them that you gotta get rid of. You gotta run some more and then you gotta jump to the side again to avoid the next one. You have to run it further to get to get rid of the, um, that one. And here is the last oceanic mask. And then this door opens. Run to the door. You gotta fall down into, into fall down into some <clears throat> down into the water here. And you want to swim forward and climb out over here. They want to run down the hallway. So that's all for the oceanic masks. And I haven't, I got the first secret. But I don't know where the other two are. I'm going to head down this way. And I'm going to go to the block they see over here. And you want to push it. Whoops, I wanted to push it, not climb up on top of it. Now you notice this passage, passage way over here and you're probably wondering what's over here. When you go over here. Pull this lever. Which opens this door. Here, here you gotta get more of these mutant enemies. Anyway, go to the opening over here. And there's more of them. That's the end of this video. I'll continue on with more slow next part. I'll see you then.